What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here's a quick jailbreak update for iOS 8.2. So a lot of people are in a state of confusion right now. Today is March 27th at the moment of me making this video. The jailbreak summit event has happened, yet there's no jailbreak in sight. I wanna go ahead and clarify why there's no jailbreak today, what's going on, what are the developers thinking, and when are we likely to see a jailbreak? So first off, the jailbreak summit event did happen. We were never guaranteed a jailbreak. There was some speculation by comics, by Ionic, that a jailbreak could happen on iOS 8.2 after this event on March 27th, yet we haven't seen one today. So it's very unlikely it will be released today, tomorrow, you know, anytime around now. So that leaves two options. One, either the iOS 8.2 jailbreak is complete and the jailbreak team known as Taiji chooses not to release it at the moment. Now there could be several reasons for this. For one, iOS 8.2 is a follow-up to 8.1.3. There's really not much that's changed other than the Apple Watch support. And to them, it doesn't make sense to release this jailbreak on this version when iOS 8.3 is right around the corner. 8.3 being the firmware that includes a ton of new features, a lot of emojis, a lot of bug fixes, definitely better fluid animations. I did a full review on that a few days ago. So if you guys wanna check that out you can see that right there but 8.3 is much more likely to receive a jailbreak than 8.2 now, the other reason they might not have released it is they don't have one. Apple did patch one of the major exploits used in iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak, so there could be complications with making an iOS 8.2 jailbreak. Hopefully, it's the first option. Hopefully, they have the jailbreak. They're just waiting out on Apple to release a newer update. And guys, it really makes sense. I know it's really painful waiting for me too. I want to jailbreak all my newest devices, yet I can't, and it's painful, but it's worth it because in the end, you'll be running the newest firm where if the Taiji jailbreak team does decide to release the jailbreak on iOS 8.3. So unfortunately, you guys can't jailbreak at the moment, but there are a few things you can do to prepare yourself for the jailbreak. In the second portion of this video, I will be showing you guys how to save your SHSH blobs from an already jailbroken device. As you guys can see right here, I have 8.1.2, and I'm gonna show you guys how to save the SHSH blobs for this firmware, just in case you're still jailbroken, so that in the future, you may downgrade back to it just in case. Now, I'm pretty much making this video to help a lot of people who are confused, because a lot of people are taking advantage of the moment right now to push their spam and fake jailbreaks out. Now, I wanna make sure you guys know there is no current jailbreak for 8.1.3 or 8.2. Don't fall for anybody's trick. You know, there's a lot of that going around right now. So follow the jailbreak developers, only they will be able to tell you when a jailbreak is out right away. But guys, unfortunately, there's no jailbreak today and it's unknown. There is literally no word from the Taiji jailbreak team. They haven't said a thing. So it's all speculation at this point, but hopefully we could see a jailbreak with the release of iOS 8.3. But then again, it really doesn't make sense. I mean, why not release a jailbreak for 8.2 because there will always be another firmware ahead of it. Might as well enjoy it on the one we have right now. Now, iOS 8.3, which I have running on this guy right here, you know, it does have a lot of new features. It would be nice to have a jailbreak on this version. And uh, just to show you guys, I am running 8.3 right here, the latest beta. You know, there are some cool features like the new emojis which you can choose different skin tone colors. There's a new menu for them too. Really cool stuff. And there's definitely a lot of bug fixes. It would be nice to see a jailbreak on this version, but you know, we don't have any guarantee that we will see one on 8.3. And hopefully if an 8.2 jailbreak is released, we could see it on 8.3 as well. And iOS 8.4 is already in the works as well. The main feature for 8.4 is gonna be a Beats music streaming service. So that's on the horizon as well. Might as well release a jailbreak right now. Now, comics in a tweet did say that it wasn't released today, but who knows? You know, it could be released in the future. He doesn't know anything about it. The Taiji jailbreak team hasn't said a thing about it. It's all speculation, guys, but I still have hope to see one on 8.2. So anyways, let's go to the second portion of this video, and I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare your device for the jailbreak if you haven't done so already. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to save your SHSH blobs on the current 8.2, as well as iOS 8.2 if you guys are still on it and jailbroken. Now, in Cydia, I want you guys to go ahead and search for one thing. I want you guys to search for Apple File Conduit 2 and go ahead and install it. So this is a crucial part of the SHSH process if you're on a jailbreakable firmware. If you're not jailbroken, still do this. It's very important. In the future, if an 8.3 update comes out and then the jailbreak only comes out for 8.2, you wanna have the option of being able to go back. And that's exactly what I'm showing you right here is a fail safe. All right, so you guys are gonna wanna download the latest version of Tiny Umbrella and you guys can find the tutorial and download links down below. Anyways, right click on it on a Mac or a Windows computer. Windows select run as administrator on a Mac 
select right click and open. So now that this is open, you guys wanna make sure you have that file installed if you're jailbroken. If not, you still wanna do this. So go ahead and take that cable and plug it in. The rest of the process is entirely automatic for non-jailbroken users. It'll go ahead and see all the SH, SH blobs you have and save all of those accordingly. Now, if you are jailbroken, go ahead and click on the current device plugged in right click on it and select fetch on board. This will go ahead and take the SHSH blob that you have on your device as a result of that file we downloaded from Cydia. And if you get this error message, it's really simple. All you guys gotta do is go ahead and unplug your device, plug it back in, go ahead and right click on it and select fetch on board. And boom, there you go. I have my iOS 8.2 version saved just like that. If you get the error message again, just unplug and replug. Now, if you're not jailbroken, you'll see 8.2, which is still important. That's pretty much some security that you could get a jailbreak in the future if it's released on a future version. At the moment, there's no way to downgrade to these SHSH files, but that is in the works and it will most likely happen. All right, guys, so there you go. Just thought I'd clear up some confusion. Unfortunately, we were not given a jailbreak jailbreak today and I'm still holding out hope that we could see it in a few days, maybe a week on iOS 8.2, hopefully. If not, iOS 8.3 is the next big bet. And don't think for a second there won't be a jailbreak. There will always be a jailbreak, guys. These guys work so hard. I mean, the Taiji jailbreak team, thank you so much for everything you do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little update, guys. I hope I helped prepare your device for the future just in case it could come in handy. Have a great day. Peace.